Hi guys, this is Victor from webautomation.io and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape Costco products and, and upload it to your Shopify store for drop shipping. Um, so we're going to be using webautomation.io, of course. So to follow the video, you need to be signed up for an account. I am already signed up and in, so I'm going to go into the dashboard. And I'm going to use the wizard mode uh, to create the uh, scrapers. So that's at the top right. And all I need to do is search for Costco. Uh, now you see we have several Costco's. So depending on which country you're in, uh, there's a Canada one, there's a US one, there's a UK one. Um, I'm going to use the Canada one. Um, just for this uh, demonstration. Okay, by default, uh, it tells you, do you want to automatically scrape the entire sitemap? That's all the products on Costco. Uh, if you wanted to do that, you, you leave the default. If you wanted to get specific categories, for example, office products, you'd have to copy this. Um, like this, head back into web automation and replace this. Might want to put in some rows just so we can limit the results. And that's it, we save and we can start running. Uh, it tells you how many credits it's going to cost. Um, if you're happy, then you click the big run now button and voila, uh, off you go. So it starts scraping Costco. And it's going to come out in exactly the format that Shopify requires. So I'll give it a second and then we'll come back and see what the data looks like. Okay, guys, uh, the data is ready to download. Um, so we can have a preview of what the data looks like. Uh, this is the format I'm expecting it with the different variants like Shopify. Uh, what we're going to download as a CSV. Um, and have a look in our tool. So save locally and let's have a look at what it looks like. So this is what the data looks like. This is just a small sample size. So it's got all the different column headings that Shopify expects. And it's got all the data, prices, variants, um, et cetera. So it looks like we're good to go. Um, now what we need to do is to upload the data to Shopify. Uh, I've got my Shopify open already. I'm just going to go import, which is the way to import a file and then add file and then just add the file I downloaded and upload. Okay, uh, it looks like the data is good. Uh, then we can import the products. Uh, it takes a minute, uh, but that's it. Voila. So you can then import all your products onto Shopify, increase your margins, and you can start doing drop shipping. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've showed you quickly how you can use web automations, Costco uh, predefined extractors to be able to extract data in the exact format that Shopify wants it. And you can use this uh, for your drop shipping. Okay, thank you guys for watching the video and uh, we'll see you at the next video.